So recently around the NBA, it has just been announced that the Detroit Pistons will not be playing Blake Griffin anymore and they will be looking to either trade him or buy him out. So in today's video, I'll be discussing some potential teams that Blake Griffin could go to if he is bought out. But before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA content and to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And comment on this video to start a conversation with me to respond to all of my comments. And play that intro. The first potential team I could see Blake going to is the Boston Celtics. And I think on this roster, Blake would fit very well. As right now, they are starting Daniel Tice or Tristan Thompson at the forward position, which is far from ideal. And adding Blake could really strengthen the front court. And I think Boston could sign him either by trading or signing him, as Boston has their 20 plus million dollar trade exception. So they're one of the few realistic teams who can get Blake. And the Celtics wouldn't need Blake to be a star. All they would need him to be is a nice bench score, since Boston is desperate for any type of bench production. And if Blake could just be a solid floor spacer and poor pool score, it could really help them. The next potential team I could see Blake going to is the Brooklyn Nets. And before you overreact, you have to remember Blake isn't a star level player anymore and he might not even be a good starter but I think he would fit well in Brooklyn since we all know the Nets two biggest problems is their defense and bench depth and adding Blake has the potential to be a huge move for them since if off the bench they could have, he could be a floor spacer and an option in the post it could make the Nets even more dangerous. The only problem I see with this move is the fact that the Nets other biggest issue is their horrible defense and Blake would not help that at all. And I would argue at this point of his career, he's a defensive liability as he's way too slow to guard the perimeter and he's not good at defending the pick and roll. So I don't think him joining the Nets is likely. The next potential team I could see Blake Griffin going to is the Portland Trailblazers. And if I'm being honest, I think this is the team he fits the best with since Portland's power forward position is pretty weak as they've been starting Robert Covington, who has been horrendous to start the year, averaging seven points while shooting 35% from the field and 32% from three. And obviously he's important for their defense, but offensively, they could use a boost. And I honestly think that there's a chance that Dame could get the best out of Blake, since they could work somewhat well in the pick and roll. And I feel Portland is a very good team, but they need a bit more depth. And adding Blake could be a guy who could give you a solid 10 to 12 points off your bench, which is all they need. And lately, they have been dealing with plenty of injuries to their front court players. So I think this is a somewhat likely move that could happen. The next potential team I could see Blake Griffin going to is the Washington Wizards. And this is because they have started the year off horrendously. And to me, it's clear they need to make a move. And even though their problem is on the defensive side of the floor, Blake definitely wouldn't help with that. But I think they need to just have something new on their team. And they should maybe bunk on the chance of Blake maybe revitalizing himself. Because although I don't think Blake will return to an all-star form, I think there's a small chance that Dwayne Casey told him not to be super aggressive and maybe he's still a very good starter player still. And I think if that could happen, it could turn their season around. But that's a bit of a stretch and I doubt that happens regardless of what team he goes to. The next potential team I could see Blake going to is sort of a wildcard team, but it is the defending championship Lakers. And although I think it's unlikely he goes there, I give it a small chance since Blake would be returning to the city he spent most of his career in, which is LA. Also, Anthony Davis is gonna be out for the next month. So they could use some depth at the front quarter position. And also the Lakers as of right now are the title favorites. So there's a possibility 
he would want to join and contribute to a championship team. I also feel Blake wouldn't have as much pressure to be good. For example, if he's not good at all on the Lakers, it won't be a huge deal since this Laker team is so good that it won't matter. But I don't think he's going to LA. The next potential team I could see Blake Griffin going to is the Miami Heat. And this is since the start of the season, the Heat have really struggled. And it might just be time for them to make some sort of move. And so far this year, they have been starting Kelly Olynyk at the power forward position, which is far from ideal. So they could use some depth at that position. I think Blake could really help them as a scorer off the bench. But Miami is already a very deep team, so I don't know if they would be willing to sign him. But I think there's a maybe decent chance that this happens. But to conclude this video, I think Blake could definitely be a very good starter at best and an okay role player at worst. And I give him a 10% chance to return to his all-star level form, but I don't think it's happening. And I think he's more likely to get bought out than traded since he has a huge contract. And I don't think any teams would want to pay him over 35 million a year, especially when they could just sign him as a free agent if he's bought out. I hope the best for Blake and I hope he joins a contender and is able to contribute. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Let me know what team you think Blake is going to go to. Drop a like on this video to help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA content like this and to help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers. And comment on this video to start a conversation because I respond to all of my comments. And I'm out.